Y'all, it'd be really looking like I ate like a full on greasy pork chop looking at my lips. It's just this chapstick, but it's just like, not only did I eat a greasy pork chop, it's like I just smathered, slathered it. I don't know what smathered is all over my face. <laughs> my beautiful Libra girl. How are you doing? <laughs> my name is Simply Velka and I'm going to be doing a reading specifically for my single Libras out there. Now I also do a weekly general reading for your zodiac sign as well as your love weekly love one, which I'll put a link over here for you to check out. But in this one, this is just specifically for my Libras who are looking for love, who may not have a person in mind yet, right? This is for those who are just looking to have like a sense of direction, what it is that they need to do to welcome in love sooner, right? What is it that like is going on in their lives, in your life, right? See, just like where, what, get an update in y'all's past and figuring that out, right? Libra, so let's just get into this reading. If you do enjoy my reading style though, I would love and you find, like this reading as well. I'd love for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot. And just let me know how you like this reading in general, right? This is something new for my channel, so. Let's just jump into this reading now for you, Libra. Uh, the three cards I pulled were the Seven of Cups, right uh, the energy between you and like your next person is the four of cups right and then and then on their side of things they have the high priestess in the reverse i hold it up right now i'm going to just talk about this energy and how i'm receiving it before i pull any clarifiers libra on your side of things when we talk about the seven of cups this is letting me know that you have options right in terms of this entire reading libra it seems as if like even if you are feeling single right now with the seven of cups coming in this is letting me know that there are people who would be potentially interested in you, Libra, but you're not opening up to it, right? You're not seeing it. And on their side as well, because the middle energy here is the Four of Cups. And this is saying, like, on your side of things, you're not seeing, like, these, like, options here, or you're not considering those options, right, that are around you currently, because I do feel like they're around you currently with this setup. On their side of things, the High Priestess in the reverse. Uh, I, d I mean, just because this is, this is the general reading, right? Maybe this is like partially because it's like, uh, because of that seven of cups, but maybe it's just because of, you know, how, how I would just break this down, Libra, because I like to view Tara as like a puzzle piece, a puzzle piece is where it's just like, you have to read in between the lines and like what it represents, what it means, right? So if you have a bunch of options and four cups is coming in here, you're not seeing these options. You're not seeing these cups being presented to you from spirit or from anybody, right? You're not seeing these people. They're not, you, you're not paying attention to them. You may, this is kind of like clueless energy being like, oh, wait, like, you know, like you're not aware that some people actually are interested in you. And on their side of things with this high priestess, they in the reverse they're doubting themselves right and i can't help what but wonder why it is they're doubting themselves now obviously we can go like let's not be self-involved beings and realize that everyone just has their own insecurities right libra but when you have this setup here you know ignoring the four of cups let me switch these sides here so this is being you maybe this person here is doubting themselves in terms of reaching out to you because they think you have so many options, because they're just like, oh, there's no way that they're looking or what have you. So what I would just suggest from this, because I do feel like there's like suitors around you currently, Libra, I would say if you're looking for love to kind of be more open about it, right? Kind of be more, I mean, I don't know how to really like, how you would go about being like, oh, hey, I'm single, other than just saying it or like wearing a sign that says it, right? But, um maybe perhaps start taking active steps of like maybe signing up to a dating website this is one of those things where it's just like i feel as if if you were to just like let it be known to the world and to the people around you that you're starting to be like oh hey you know what i'm starting to think about i want to get into a relationship right you know even and if you start doing posts on social media being like i'm good i think i want a relationship right start dropping those hints and i feel like people are going to like pick up those hints and chase after you, right? But let's look at these clarifiers, right? Because clarifiers always can change the message entirely. So the, um, the Seven of Cups clarification I got for you, Libra, is because, okay, see, this is telling me a story where it's just like, you have so many options because you're a beautiful person, right, Libra? You're extremely desirable just because we have this Queen of Pentacles energy coming in. And so it's just like, you have a good sense of self. You are taking care of yourself with this Queen of Pentacles. This is someone who is investing in themselves. This could be, you have like money, like finances in your mind right now with this Knight of Wands as well. Not Knight of Wands, hello. Knight of Pentacles as well. So a lot of Pentacle energy. So you're focusing in the in your earthly 
um, desires right now. If not, just like focusing on making yourself feel good. But it's because it's like there's such a you having like a laser focus in terms of something, Libra. It feels as if like maybe that's why you're not seeing this four of cups opportunity. That's why you're not seeing these suitors here. Eight of Wands is letting me know someone just being extremely independent as well, Libra. So yeah, I feel like this is one of those things. And again, let's take it back. I did say this high priestess in reverse on their side of things is where it's like they're like not sure they're like if you know this is one of those things where they think that you're out of their league sort of thing, right? And it kind of makes sense with this energy that you're exuding Libra aware just is like this sense of where it's like, I just, I don't know. I just keep getting this sense of where it's just is like, you know how I said, like, make it more obvious that you're looking for love. I feel like that's just like, even though <laughs> Libra, like you are the planet of like the sign of like being charming and all that, don't mistake just being charming and like think that everyone's taking that as a sign that you're looking for love is what I'm saying, is what I'm getting rather you know put, take yourself out of the situation and see look at yourself and be like is this the kind of person that would be approachable that someone would want to approach to date not even just from like a physical whatever standpoint just from like a if by looking at a person do you come off as someone that someone would want to like pursue right if you like someone like goes up to you and you just give them like a death stare or just like make them feel uneasy about themselves right then um maybe they're just gonna be too intimidated to um you in that way and also you know with this four of cups like people i feel like maybe people have spoken to you already libra and it's just because it's like you're just so laser focused in terms of like creating something for yourself even though you want love you're creating something for yourself and it's just like you just don't consider it in that way like i feel like there just needs to come a point where like you turn off the work mode libra like turn off your if you're looking for love turn off your work mode and start exploring like the soft and fuzzy side of yourself that loving side of yourself um and switch between that energy right you can't just always own this bossed up energy that's going on here nothing wrong with being bossed up please libra i understand it entirely but um if you're looking for love you either you kind of need to turn the boss um energy down a little bit and turn on like the more of like the um, soft and fuzzy side of things you can still be a boss and still be soft and fuzzy right you just don't want to come off as extremely intimidating or extremely you know just keep things in perspective you want to be more approachable i guess is what the approachable is the word i'm looking for clarification on their side of things too high with that high priestess rather all these cards are in reverse for them. So the moon card, the knight of cups, and the seven of swords. Libra, this person, <laughs> there's literally someone that does have their eye on you. I'm going to be honest. There's someone that has their eye on you, but they're doubting themselves and reaching out to you in any type of way or pursuing you in any type of way just because of like they're in their head for whatever reason, whether they're in their head about just like thinking that you're out of their league or whatever. I'm really getting a sense of where it's just like with this four of cups, like you guys are just like, the, on their side of things, they're missing that opportunity because they're feeling insecure in some type of way. On your side of things, you're just not paying attention to them even being there. You're not even seeing them in that way. Um, let me explain why. With this moon card and the knight of cups, but keep in mind, all of them are in the reverse. This They, they want to bring you roses, right? But they're afraid of the unknown. They're afraid of that rejection because, again, you're exuding this bossed up energy. And so it's just like, think about it from this way. It's like, because they have like such a high respect for you, Libra, or you give off just such an important energy energy it's like someone that's already in their head you know when you put yourself out there it's already kind of like scary and spooky and like th i thought i just saw someone in the reflection of my camera libra but it's just this picture you can't see it obviously but it's like my camera's face at me and i just saw like this image like this man's head just like looking at it and i was just like looking i was like is there someone there? <laughs> girl regardless let me not get sidetracked they are just so afraid of being rejected by you. And so seven of wands, uh, seven of swords energy, they start becoming a little bit cynical in whatever way. And they start self-sabotaging in whatever way. This could just be where it's just like, oh, they convince themselves, oh, they want to be interested. They already have options, right? With that seven of cups. They, I really do feel like these people think, like this person thinks you have a lot of options, Libra. And I feel like they already think that you might already be interested in somebody else. Whether, regardless what it is, they don't know that you're actually like, that you're actually looking for love, I feel. So I'm gonna pull three more cards as a clarifier of the energy between you two. What is it that you both could be working on to get this connection to come closer, right? All right, last three cards. Ah. So, Hierophant energy, 
two of swords and then six of swords. No, that's not Hierophant. This is the hanged man. So this is where hmm, I feel like with this energy here, this two of swords guarded you need to both you guys need to stop being so guarded stop being so in your head well this is right and this is something that you both need to be actively working on um six of swords energy this is an energy of someone that is like you need to move on from i feel like dare i say like this is like a setup where it's just like drastic measures kind of need to be taken not drastic but just like a your usual routine needs to be switched up, Libra, in terms of just, like, uh, how you go about doing things, right? If you usually are on social media and you never talk about yourself, start talking about yourself. Start being more per personable. And I'm not saying you're not personable, Libra, right? We're known to be the most charming zodiac sign out of everybody. But um, this is, like, something where it's just, like, where it's just, like, okay, what it is that you're doing now isn't working, so change it up. And I feel like the changing it up part is this Two of Swords energy. And I feel like, you know, I feel like you just need to open yourself up a little bit more. I feel like on both sides, you just, both sides need to not be guarded. And I and I know this is the energy between you two, but Libra, I'm just going to address you where it's just like, I feel like if you really want love in your life, you need to start changing up your um, behavior, right? You need to start changing up how you present yourself and just start making it known right say that you're single ready to mingle don't just like assume someone's just going to come after you and just assume that like you're interested or you know what i mean just stop assuming and just like really really just bear all like keep your arms open don't keep your arms crossed don't cover yourself keep your arms open be like i want love give me love <laughs> right and i feel like this knight of cups will finally come in towards you but i do and also like yeah four cups Libra, consider your options. Start thinking from a more romantic brain rather than a bossed up brain. Because not everyone's going to function off of, like, believe it or not, people are, like, intimidated by you, Libra. That's what I'm getting. But, um, hopefully this reading was helpful. Again, if a High Priestess card came out again. <laughs> oh my goodness. If this reading was helpful for you, Libra, let me know in the comments below. and Be sure to give me a like and subscribe. But until next time, Libra, I love you so much. Bye.